Okay, it has been a while since my last video, but that's because a lot of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, knock sensors are in. I bought brand new knock sensors for both the front and the back. Uh, I think that's a 22 uh, socket. And you just screw right in. And uh, I also bought a new knock sensor uh, wiring harness thing that was easy uh, the valley plate easy don't forget the gasket uh, back here all right we've got the thing sticking up which is the oil pressure sending unit the one laying down is the uh, camshaft sensor and then of course you got those guys are hanging off one of the uh, those guys meaning that white those white terminal end things hanging off of one of those bell housing studs and then uh, and the fuel lines which are those hard lines are also hanging off of a bracket further down and then these little guys right there that one right there clean him up and put him back on with a new gasket and clean him up and put him on with a new gasket and which reminds me I've got to do the front which I haven't done yet and then I'm gonna clean up uh, the heads get the tape off and I'm gonna try putting the intake manifold on now that way I'll have an idea of where I stand with this mess right here I figure it's easier to put the intake manifold on with all that crap out of the way. And then I'll sling it over because I got a shitload of wires to get over there and here and everywhere. But I think as far as the back of the block is concerned, everything is buttoned up. I hope. All right, and a few minutes later, we've got this front coolant pipe on there. And I believe that goes, that rubber tube will go into the bottom of the throttle body so that goes on there and there and I think we're ready for the intake manifold all right some really smart person on YouTube said to uh, take some air hose and uh, cut them in a, about an inch keep those bolts from sliding down and uh, so the intake manifold is on, and uh, so is a gasket, and it's only being held down finger tight by these four bolts there, two in the front, two in the back. So I wanted to get it in here. I wanted to check to make sure the clearance and everything was good. And now I'm gonna start moving some of these cables over to where they belong, including those two really, really long ones that go yonder um, I spent about an hour or more cleaning the intake not that you can tell because the thing is just as ugly as could be um, another wise person said to uh, buy a new toilet bowl brush and spray the hell out of the uh, intake with uh, car cleaner or brake cleaner or whatever and take that uh, brush and brush the hell out of that. I did that. And then each of these runners, uh, I sprayed those too, and then just got a regular brush and brushed the hell out of those. Try to get it as clean as possible inside. And, uh, uh, and then blew it with compressed air to make sure that I didn't leave any foreign stuff in there. It, I don't remember what it looked like last time I videoed, but, uh, cleaned up a lot of the wires and kind of sort of put them back where they belong. Not really, but kind of sort of. What I wanted to make sure was that I could feed the long ones, those two guys, uh, through and that they will end up being long enough to get to their destination. throttle and my 
cruise control back. This little V about two inches away from where it's supposed to be. And mm, I think that's the I think that's the knock sensor. And I think it goes with that one right there. Alright. So I put the alternator slash power steering pump bracket situation back on. It was no big deal. Three, four bolts, something like that. Uh, three on top, one on the bottom. You just gotta make sure you get your lines clean. I'm still not sure if the lines are clean here. I went back and looked at a video from the disassembly and it looks similar to this. I had all the lines kind of ducking down over there. Over there. 